Hello viewers, my name is Kevin Young from Serpentarium Surplus and Moonlight Mantids and uh, today is going to be our first Q&A. Um, I was going to also add the art contest onto this video here whenever I do my q and I'm going to announce a winner. Thing is though, I don't have enough entries in. I'll, I do have a ton. You emailed them to me. Um, I guess nobody wants uh, $100 worth of free stuff. Uh, you know, devil flower, maybe an orchid if you want. Um, some of you drew wonderful art and you took a picture of it and you sent it to me. Um, a lot of you did that and I have very few actual submissions and uh, what I want you to do is send me the art. <laughs> um, it's I want to announce a winner um, but I mean you can't have both the best worlds. Uh, both the best of both worlds. I mean you're gonna keep a nice little drawing yeah you know and, but you're not getting hundred dollars worth of stuff you know. Um, I want art, I want mantis art, and I'm going to basically pay for it. Um, and it's just a way for me to give you things so you don't have to buy them if you want to get into mantids. And some of these mantids are too expensive. I remember when I started out, I could afford a devil mantis. That was like my whole budget, you know, 50 bucks. Jesus Christ, Je you know, it's terrible, terrible. Um, it's expensive. So uh, send me your stuff in the mail and you'll win. You will win immediately. I will just right away. Q and A number two, and oh, oh, by the way, the winner is blah. Congratulations, cups, feeders, whatever it is you wanted, mailed to your house free. Done. We'll do that like every month if I get enough submissions. Don't stop sending them. Don't think oh the contest's over. It's not over. It's not. It's never over. Anyway, first Q and A. The questions that I'm answering came from Facebook comments, messages, YouTube comments, emails text messages, voicemails, I've been gathering them, um, and I want to do a video along with the art cont contest submissions, um, as, as often as I can, you know, I feel like I have enough for a little video, and, um, let's, uh, I guess we'll just start out, uh, questions from YouTube, I got, uh, CBW314, I live in the San Francisco area, and in my house it's around 62 degrees, can I care for a mantis in this condition? Are you trying to put it through diapause? Um, I don't know if you know what that is, but uh, it's some mantids require it. Uh, you, you look it up. Uh, it's more. It's really advanced stuff. I'm guessing you don't know what that is, but the thing is, mantids are ectothermic. They are going to. Um, they need heat to metabolize food. If they if they don't get enough of the, enough heat and that is 62 degrees, that might work. I don't I don't know. I, I wouldn't do it unless you want it to live like three years and and have a heartbeat like you know every you know four minutes. Um, if you know it, the thing is, it needs heat to metabolize its food. If it, the food sits in its gut too long, it, it'll get gut rot and it'll die. So I wouldn't keep anything less under like 72 or 70. I don't know. I just that to me that's really cool. Um, I say no. No. Um, uh, X Air X six six six. Hi, I have a question about mantis health. Good question. Um, uh, my Chinese adult female has been throwing up this black and brown liquid for the past two days now, and she won't eat and only drinks water, and she can barely keep that in her system before throwing it back up. Um, your mantis has what we like to call uh, the Black Death. Um, it has a lot to do with dehydration and poor food quality. Um, also could be bacteria, um, sort of an infection, a lot of throwing up, just kind of the runs. Um, there's not much you can do after two days. Uh, after a day, maybe two days, uh, three days, you know, you're, you're, you will lose your mantis. Uh, right away, if you notice these little black, or these liquidy, liquid black goo coming out of this mantis, black death, you're going to want to start giving a lot, a lot of water. Um, stop feeding it while you're feeding it, and don't feed it that anymore. Obviously, a mantis isn't going to tolerate whatever food you were giving it. And start giving it a lot of honey. Honey is like a natural little antibiotic. It's antiseptic. It's, it's got antioxidants. It's all this, all this wonderful stuff. Start power feeding your mantis um, lots of honey and water. It'll flush it right out, and that's pretty much the only thing you can do. It could also have something to do with maybe uh, not enough heat. Um, Maybe not, you know, definitely it's a hydration issue. The top, top thing I can think of, it's, it's not getting enough water in my mind, and it's bad food quality. Um, anyway, also, uh, you also said, uh, I have a question about my female giant sh uh, African mantis. Uh, she just laid an ooth, but she is unsexed. Will her ooth hatch? I mean, un you mean unbred, I think. 
Um, no. Uh, giant Africans are not partho. Parthenogenic means they don't reproduce asexually. They say I don't. I don't think they do. If that ooth hatches and you are for, if you're certain it was not bred, you need to tell somebody. <laughs> um, Vinegar two two from YouTube says, "Where do I get your plastic cups with holes from?" And can man uh, can nymphs live together until they are larger? Uh, you can go on to Google and search 32 ounce insect cups or insect cups or plastic cups or whatever it is you do, um, the size you want, and you'll get a lot of different websites that have it. Solo makes a lot of stuff. But I like to use tsksupply.com. That's, it has everything you need, everything you could ever want. It's right there. That and Walmart, you know, they have a lot of good stuff too. Um, that or if you're ordering, making an order and you just want like two or three extra, you don't want to buy a sleeve of 50 or 60 or 100 of them like we do. Um, you, you let us know, we'll throw a few in there, you know, just probably for cost or something. Um, uh, can your nymphs live together until they're older? Yes, I say that's true, and I don't, I don't really care what anyone else says. I haven't had any issues. I keep all my old ones together for the first, until their first shed. And I, they have a lot of space and a ton of food and the right water and lots of attention. I'm watching them, and I don't have any cannibalism. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit with mantis, I have like three, four hundred... Um, and even then, I no, I haven't actually seen it. Uh, they're eating the flies I throw in there, and I, they're you know they're drinking the water. They're gonna shed the first time. You know they're in a big they're in a big cage. Um, they're gonna shed the first time, and I get them out of there really quick. Um, if you have communal animals, uh, communal mantids, um, it doesn't matter if they're communal. That doesn't mean they're not gonna kill each other. You feed them, or they're gonna they're gonna snack on each other. Um, that goes with any communal species. Don't be shocked if you decide to skip a feeding and you have one mantis left, one big one. Um, you gotta, you gotta feed enough, just like the L ones before they're L twos. As soon as they shed, get them out of there. The thing is too, also if you wait and there's, say you forgot a feeding and they all, they're all starting to shed, the the L ones will run up, grab the L twos as they're soft and eat them too. Um, you just make sure they're really well fed and you won't have too many problems if you're trying to buy time. Um, and I have limited space and. A lot of mantid, so I can afford to just kind of um, put them together. I don't lose much. I don't lose hardly any. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, ben Mitchell, how do you know if they're thirsty? Um, a mantis is thirsty, I guess. You could try to mist it, and if it starts to drink, you might be onto something. Um, otherwise, um, hmm, if they start to try to collect water, like you're holding them and they go down and they're like trying to mouth you. They're probably thirsty. Anyway, um, Sue Ellen McGoey. Uh, what is the best mantis for my vegetable garden? Also, how long from nymph to adult? Um, I, if they're awesome questions. Uh, it's super, super general. Um, best for my garden. I A lot of people say, oh, you can order these Chinese ooth. And yeah, you just throw them in your garden. And they're naturalized. They are. Naturalized means they are a feral animal that is so ingrained in our environment, whether they're causing damage or not, there's no way to ever get rid of them, and they will never ever leave, and there's nothing you can do, and I don't believe that, but um, people say, oh, throw a Chinese ooth out there, yeah, you can do that for pest control, yeah, I don't buy that. Um, if it depends what state you're in, uh, look up an entomologist, or Google, or Wikipedia, figure out what native species you have. And more than likely, someone will be able to send you those. You can replace the Chinese in your area with the actual native mantids. There are, I think there's like 14, and I'm going to look this up. Don't, don't, stop, don't get mad. Don't comment all over my page about how many species are on there. It's like 14 to 17 or something in the U.S. I think there's like one in Canada, one natural species in Canada. Anyway, you don't want to throw a European or narrow-winged or Chinese uh, ooth out in your garden. You can, it's not against the law, they're naturalized, um, and it's pretty commercialized too, but I still say it's wrong. Um, if you're better than that, you'll look it up and you'll find the right species for that environment. You can go out and collect them and start culturing them too, and then you're doing something really awesome, and you can start replacing these commercial guys, and you can sell them for a lot more money. Um, and I think Fish and Wildlife and the DNR and all that stuff, they're gonna love you. Um, Anyway, also, uh, how long from adult nymph to adult? <sighs> um, it, it, this is a question I get a lot. It depends on care. Um, in the wild, they'll last one season. 
So usually, the month before they all die, they're adults and they breed and lay ooth everywhere. Maybe two months before. I don't, I don't really know. A month, month and a half, two months. Um, in captivity, if you have them in warm, warm conditions with tons of food, tons of water, and you're just power, power, just power, just pushing them, just getting them to just grow, um, you know, you're gonna, they're gonna burn out pretty quick. If you go a little bit cooler, not 62 degrees, but a bit cooler, um, you're, you know, they're gonna, you're gonna slow them down. It depends if you want pets or breeders, or if you have time or you don't have time, and it depends on care. I can't help you there. And then also depends on species and uh, it's a hard question to ask. I, you know, to say it, they're gonna live a year. I'm gonna say I always say just one year. Uh, I got a Chinese man. One year, one year and three days. Um, I have a Carolina. One year, two days, two days. Yep. I got a giant shield. Five years. Just kidding. <laughs> um. Anyway, I got one. I got another question here. Um, from can't say your name. Sala I Y yeah one from YouTube. Sorry, uh, can you feed uh, babies roaches or would flies just be their diet till they're older? If they can catch it, they can eat it. And that's my answer to that question. You give them whatever you want to give them. If they can grab it and eat it, then it's good. Uh, somebody else actually mentioned right under this, and I love this because it was, it was awesome. Um, this guy or this chick, I don't know. Uh, cat one t one y n n. Good comment. She says, but don't leave them unattended. Crickets. She meant. Don't do that. Um, don't leave your crickets unattended in your mantis cage, or you will have one fat cricket, not one big mantis. Because um, during a shed, or even not during a shed, I've seen crickets just, just start tearing stuff apart. They are nasty. They tear stuff apart. If you're gonna uh, feed crickets, I would tong feed them, or and just they're just terrible. Terrible feeders. Um, roaches aren't going to attack your mantids ever. I've never seen it. Um, also, we have from uh, Sully Khan. Hi, I have an Indian flower mantis that I have bred about a month ago, and she has laid in ooth. Would would you... What? Oh, oh, she hasn't laid her ooth yet. Would you happen to know why? Um, there's, two, there's two reasons why she hasn't laid yet, and it was a month ago. Um... One, she could have been, or no, like three reasons. Um, she could have just been, uh, she probably not uh, mature yet, not receptive yet. The, sp the sperm pack, it's probably still in there. You know, she, she'll return the, retain the sperm anyway. It might just take a little bit longer. Um, the other thing is not enough food, not enough water. Um, so it's just taking longer to build one. It takes a lot of energy. Um, also, if it's egg bound, which is bad, because they're going to get really, really fat, really fat, really fat, and then just die. Um... Don't know why they get egg bound exactly. Not sure if anyone really knows. I'll try to find out. That's a good question. But um, you know, if it's egg bound, and I've seen that quite a bit, uh, I don't know exactly why that happens. Um, could have been that they were, you know, maybe a little bit not maybe not mature enough yet. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, and uh, they just die from that. So you know, it's been a month. It, a month isn't really that long. You know, maybe a month and a half, two months. I'd start to worry as long as their abdomen wasn't, you know, exploding. Um, anyway. Daniel Mills, we have a, oh, he's, a, he's like a story, I like this. Um, we have a female European ma uh, praying mantis who chose us. I like that. Um, she didn't want to go back outside and kept coming in, so we decided to keep her. A couple days after we adopted her, her abdomen started to swell. It's now been about two and a half weeks since she was adopted, and she laid her ooth. We were thrilled, but unsure if the ooth would be fertilized or not. Um... I, I like that story. It's really nice. Thank you, um, Daniel Mills. Uh, honestly, you might win a free mantis for that. Um, I like stories. That's a good story. Um, let's see here. Uh, t -t 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 oh, 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 you're asking if it's fertile. Depends on the time of year. Um, it, uh, you got to, like in September here in Wisconsin, um, the first week of September, all of our Chinese, I hate them. Um, don't hate them. I like them. They're okay. Um, but they're the wild ones. They, um, they uh, become adults in the first week of September. You see them flying around, males and females. Two weeks after that, two weeks into September, you only see females. So what happened is they all probably bred. So if, if, you, if, you know, if it's late in the year and you find a female, I, if I would say the ooth was, you know, it was fertile. Um, they, you know, they only have to mate once, and the males are really good about finding them really quickly. 
uh, mating them all, getting eaten or dying or getting eaten by bats or whatever it is they do. And they like to fly around at night mostly. And, uh, you know, if you were catching wild females um, late late in the season after September or, you know, into uh, October, if you if it's, they, they're out there that late, um, you you know, you're, you're they're, they're going to be fertile, um, almost 100% positive. And mantis stay fertile their whole life. Um, the only thing that you have to worry about is their fertility goes down after about three ooth. Um, that just, you know, it just depends. You're going to get a hatch of something out of each one of those. Uh, they're meant to just keep laying ooth. Um, you just lose fertility after a while, and as a breeder, you're going to want to max out each ooth, so we do a lot of breedings in between, um, but initially, actually, it only takes one. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, oh, I got video requests. I'm just going to name off some requests. This isn't really part of anything, and I want your requests. I want you to tell me, what do you want to see? What do you want to know? Ask me your questions. I'm not, I won't be a jerk, okay? I'm, you guys don't know yet, you know, I'm going to answer all your questions. If, I, you know, as long as it's not repetitive, if they're repetitive, I'm just, you know, I'll answer them anyway. Um, okay, well, so, uh, I got uh, three votes for Carolina Mantis. I ordered, um, uh, not I ordered, I have uh, friends of mine, um, a Paul Shepard, I think Deborah Shepard. Uh, good friends of mine, great customers, out in California, actually. I uh, hope you don't mind I'm bringing you up. You won't care. Um, you, they sent me, like, six Carolina ooths. So, guess what? As soon as they hatch, and about a month after that, I'm going to, actually I'm going to take videos of them hatching, raising them, care, more videos, maybe breeding, as much as I can, um, and start, and edit it, uh, like, edit a video together, um, and I'll do a Carolina Mantis video, and um, that's the most, that's the most requested one, so I'm going to do that one, um, as soon as I have it, I'll post it. Uh, breeding video, I will make you guys a breeding video, I have shields here, um, maturing left and right, uh, I have um, dead leaves maturing all over, um, orchids getting ready to mature again, um, just a lot of stuff. I will try to do a breeding video of pretty much every species I have, because each one is going to be a little bit unique and different, but I will make a very generic one, or ones you can go off of. Um, it, some species, they're so terrible to breed. Uh, it's like, you need like a dozen. I had a Crea, there's something I want to tell you guys about breeding mantids. Well, 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 I have a little story of my own. Um, me and my friend Cindy Ben said, um, when we first got into mantids years ago, um, we got, uh, I got a lot of Indian flowers. It's something we all kind of start with, uh, a little bit, little ways in, you know, uh, not right away maybe, but, uh, I had about a dozen or two dozen of these things. Me and Cindy both had them. And, uh, I think she raised about 12 or 10 and every last one was a male. All of them. They all were, they were all males. And, um, I had about 12 and I think I got one female and nine males to adulthood. I remember this specifically. Um, and what happened was, uh, oh, no, 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 no. We actually, before this, before Cindy had some, I had another order before this, and uh, I raised just two. I had two. For some reason, I had a male and female. It was crazy. We all order two, and you don't expect to even get the pair. You got the pair, and they both made it to adulthood. The female sheds into adulthood. The male dies the day after. <laughs> so I was like, dang, I'm, I'm cursed. I don't know what's going on. Um, then what happened is, uh, um, so I get these, this one female and these nine males, and uh, I'm trying to breed them, and uh, she kills the first male. Just, just she's mature. She, sh she should be ready to go. She's getting fat. You know, I mean, not that fat. She's not producing an ooth yet, but she's getting there. I throw a male in there. She kills it right away. And I'm like, well, she's eating it. And I, she had something in her hand. She dropped it to go after the male. Um, so I threw another male in there. I don't know what happened. There she, I, I have a picture on my page where the, I have a cre female creole with the wings way up, all bright red and beautiful. That was that female. And she grabbed another male. She had a male in each arm. She's eating him. So I threw my third male in there. And uh, he was scared. Like, he was insanely scared. Um, uh, eventually, I took him out of there. Um, I tried to add another male in. Uh, they really weren't interested in mating at all. They were scared, I think, because they saw their buddies getting killed. Um... And uh, she just, I just, over the next couple weeks, I tried and tried and tried and tried until finally the last, last male finally copulated. And uh, they, they made like, like two hours. I'm like, oh, great. Finally. Um, and uh, three days after that, she died. So, I mean, I've produced them since then. But me and Cindy have a running joke. We call it the Creo Curse. And I am still Creo Cursed. I hate them. 
I hate them. They hate me. I put a lot of time and energy into them, and they don't want to make nymph for me. So I'm getting my Creos from Billy Wang. If you ever bought them from me, they're from Billy. I'm not I'm not doing them anymore. You know, she's not Creo cursed. She's got like the luck of the Irish or something. She's not Irish. Um, anyway, so uh, that's my story. Um, uh, just my Creo curse. Uh, terrible. Um, anyway, uh, breeding video. I'm going to do those. Uh, Orchid Mantis Care. You got it. I'm going to have this Ooth Hatch up here. I got some that are going to mature. I'll do like a whole little stage thing. I'll do that yeah, just shortly. Um, then I have uh, South America Green Mantis. I love those. Give me an excuse to order more. I, I actually bred those for a while. Uh, I need to get more. Um, uh, uh, um, Sully Khan asks, Creo Braider Ooth. Um, she got one. I guess she wants to learn how to hatch it. Um, I have an Ooth Care video, and they're actually pretty easy Ooth, so if you follow those basic guidelines, you're going to hatch it. Um, then I got uh, more snakes and mantids. Um, sure, I guess. Uh, I will show you some snakes sometime, I guess, if you're interested. Let me know in the comments below. Um, other than that, I have two more really, really great questions. Um, how do we order? Um, I get that question 30 times a day. How do I order? How do I? You watch my video now. You're super pumped. You want a mantis? I want to. I want to give you a mantis. If I don't have any, I'm gonna. I got all like all of my best friends, and I'm only friends with them because they do what I. No, I'm just kidding. We're not like a club or anything. I will forward you, so you can buy one to, to right now today. Okay? Message me. That's how you're gonna order one on Facebook. Um, text me if you want. I, you know, if you want, if you have to. Uh, call me if you have like super important quick question. Call me. I don't care. I'll talk to you for a minute. Or two minutes. Um, yeah. I actually like it. It's like, all right, who lives in Alabama? Okay, hello? Is this the mantis guy? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Kevin. Um, oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. And I have a great conversation with you guys. So just, you know, call if you need to. Um, I don't mind at all. And um, as far as, uh, you know, just you know, how do I order? You Message me, email me, and we'll work out a deal right then and there. Uh, why don't you have an online website? I have one. I had one. And you're going to find it, you, but it's unactive. It's just not working right now. Um, I had it for a long time, and I deconstructed it because it was a lot of extra work, and I am in school full-time, really busy. I am building another one. As soon as this semester is up, be so you just so you'll stop asking, I'll turn it back on. Turn it back on. I'll make it beautiful. You get an online store, shopping cart. If it's not on there, don't ask for it. I'm going to post it. You can ask if I have it, and if it's in the works... Don't ask, you know, I get emails like, can I have two ghost mantises, please? Yeah, if I had them. If they, you know, I didn't post any. Well, you know, I got some in here, but they're mine. Um, so just kind of, you know, you can ask if I have any. Um, or if I will have some soon. And then you're like, oh, when? I don't know. When they hatch? When they turn into L2s? When you pay me? And that's, uh, that's when I'll do that. Um... You know, it's, I don't really mind just saying, you know, message me. There's all kinds of little links. Google me. Serpentarium, Surplus, Moonlight, Mantis, Kevin Young. Yeah, I'm everywhere. And you're just going to, oh, Facebook, sweet. Or not, you know, don't Facebook me. Don't add me as a friend. But I have a page. But I'll still talk to you. Message me on my personal face. I don't care. You can find me. I'm so easy to find. Um, coming soon. Oh, yeah, the website. Uh, please don't ask me those questions again. Hopefully, if you're being funny um, and you're putting it all over on the bottom of my comments i'm gonna make fun of you in my next video um so this was the first q a i hope i answered a lot of video uh questions um um i hope you like my other new videos um i think daniel mills you sent me a story um it was on youtube and i would have liked it i would have liked it written you know what i like it so much i'm gonna give you a free mantis you're my first winner congratulations give me your information if you see this um Give me your info, email me, and I will send you everything you need. Free devil flower if you like, um, and everything you need. I like I like that story. Send me your stories. I like stories, too. Um, also, one last thing before we go on. My videos are so long. I hope you guys like watching. Um, I just want to show you something cool really quickly. Okay. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it is an assassin bug. Not just any assassin. But a mambo. Uh, there's white spots, red spots, mambos. There's a whole bunch of stuff out there right now that I'm starting to work with with me and a buddy. And uh, 
I, uh, I'm going to have these available shortly. Uh, the Mambos are, of course, the largest, I think the hardest to get. I'm working on a small group of these right now. They're orange. Um, I also have black Corsairs, orange Corsairs, which are like U.S. native um, assassin bugs. And uh, these are the African kind, and they're much bigger. Uh, you see them a lot more. And I'm starting to work with these. Um, let me know if you want me to make an assassin video, because I will. All right, well, uh, let me see here. All right. Ugh, thanks for watching. There's a uh, reptar back there. Um, hope you enjoy the show. Bye. Mm.